Hello everyone, it's Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. On my channel, I like to bring you the best tips and tools for creating beautiful home decor on a budget. So if you are new here, I hope you will consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button and then hit that bell so you can choose all to be notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube. Today I am here to introduce a new line of products that I was recently introduced to. These are called a Maker's Studio and these are a triple mesh stencil that depending on what paint you use can make beautiful designs on ceramic, wood, fabric, metal, you name it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, in this, I am showing you how someone brand new to these products is able to use them with a very small learning curve. So I'll be back at the end of the video to see what you guys thought. Enjoy. introduced to a maker studio and I am so excited I might be the only maker today that can tell you I am using these products live for the first time I have not done anything yet I received my products yesterday I opened them up cut my stencils apart and that's all I've done so if you have never used these before and are wondering if there's a huge learning curve I hopefully I'm going to show you that even a beginner can do awesome DIYs with these stencils. So let's get into it. Thank you so much to the two makers that went before me. I already learned so much this morning as a newbie. So again, my name is Cindy and let's get crafting. I'm going to stand up just for a second to shift my camera around for you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see where we are here. Gotcha. All right, so I know it said that I was going to do chalk art and I am going to use the chalk art uh, Peace and Joy. But first, I was intrigued. I watched a couple YouTube videos yesterday on the Maker Studio YouTube page and I really wanted to try out I hope you're not backwards. There we go. Try out some of this uh, glass etching cream. So I am excited. I love to thrift just like our founder, Amy. Let's see, do I need to flip this a little bit? So we might be upside down, that's okay. I love to thrift, but I also love my dollar stores. So I have this glass latte mug that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I washed it up really well. And the reason I'm going to do this first is because this etching cream needs to sit for about five minutes. All right, so my first time peeling these off, they come off really easily. Let's see, I'm right-handed, so I wanna see this here. And I apologize that you're going to be upside down, but hopefully you can still see everything. All right, so try to get the bubbles out. It's a little bit of curve to my mug, so it might be a little curved, but we're gonna press it down really well. Okay, let me turn it so you can see what it says. Let go and let God. This is part of a Bible verses set that I ordered. All right, so the glass etching cream, what I learned is you have to shake it up really, really well. And then we're going to use this artist brush. So I'm gonna dip it in here. You wanna use this pretty liberally. and go in here. I know the previous two makers have talked about 
the stencils and they know more than I do since I'm using this for the first time. But I watched Amy do this on a YouTube and you kind of glop it on. My professional word, glop it on. All right, and what it does is it actually eats a little bit away at the glass. So we're gonna get it on there and then let it sit. I would really love to know how many of you watching already use a Maker Studio products. How many of you have never uh, used them before? Maybe today or this weekend is the first time you're hearing about these. Um, just what I've learned so far is I love Amy's heart um, and how we give credit to our creator, the one God who created us, who gave us our gift for creativity. I love being creative and making beautiful things to give as gifts and whatnot. Okay, so that looks really, I don't know, messy. It's hard to even see what it says, but that's what we're supposed to do. So now I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes. Look at my time. And then I'm going to come over. One thing I was the most excited about were these chalk art paints. All right. And again, some of these Bible verses, I decided to do, I have this little, um, I think it was a knife for a utensil holder. Again, a thrift store buy. I just painted it with some paint that I already had. And I am going to turn it upside down so you can see it. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one. I think it will fit a little bit better. The other one's a little wide. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to use this at work just to hold some pens, pencils, whatever. Let's see. I'm going to try to line that 2 Corinthians up at the bottom, get it as straight as I can. All right. Hopefully you can all see that. And this is the white. It's called Peace and Joy. Now, the previous maker gave me the tip that this dries pretty quickly. So, taking just a little bit. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time. And just kind of scrape it on. Ooh, I like that. Now, the only type of paint that I did not receive in my initial kit um, is the, uh, I'm going to butcher the name now, the, the Restore and Repair, is that what it's called? Something like that. So that I'm excited to try as well. So I just used another uh, chalk paint that I had. Wow, that does not use very much at all. Let me see if I got everything. How does that look, you guys? That looks pretty even to me. All right, and then I can put the extra right back in. That is awesome. This tub is gonna last me a very long time. Okay, here we go. We're gonna peel it up. Whoop, it doesn't look like I quite got enough. Hold on. Let's go back and put a little bit more. And I kinda like when it looks a little more rustic. So let's just do a little bit more. I think I'm pretty good on my time. 20 minutes doesn't seem like a lot. Or it seems like a lot and then it goes fast. One or the other. Okay, Marty and Amy, I hope I'm doing all right. As a newbie, I'm trying to show these new people that they can do this. All right, and I don't try to be perfect, right? Okay. There we go. All right, your grace is sufficient. I love the little bit of the rustic look. Some of the edges are a little bit like worn. Show it closer for you. That is awesome. Okay, 
let's, I don't know, has it been five minutes? Let's go back to, where should I put this? Our glass. I think I want to let this sit just a little bit longer. Just mush it in there a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share with you is maybe give you some ideas of other things you could use these stencils on. Okay, like I've said a couple times already is I am a thrift store shopper. So if I can get it under here, things like this. This is a little like catty. I think originally maybe this was from Hobby Lobby, but how cute would this be with farm fresh eggs and a little chicken? or all three of the farm animals on here. Any of the stencils that we have. A couple other things, I just found this yesterday. It's a pizza pan board, but it even has a little uh, tie on it. So I'm gonna just sand it a tiny bit, maybe paint it, maybe just do a stencil right on the top and hang this in my kitchen or give it as a gift. So excited. Uh, this. I tend to look for anything wood when I am thrifting. This, I don't know, this is such a beautiful grain, I may leave it how it is. It's got these little feet. I think it was, you know, like a trivet. Um, you could put a beautiful stencil, maybe one of the round ones, maybe something like this, but a little bit bigger. Right there, dress up your dining table and galvanized metal you know if you're going for that farmhouse look you love that galvanized metal so even something like this would look really beautiful with some sort of stencil on the front of it so those are just some other ideas also look for things when the seasons end I have this I was just getting this ready in case I needed it this sign I think is about 14 inches square this was a Mother's Day artwork at Walmart during Mother's Day. It had something printed here. I bought it after Mother's Day was over for like $4. And then because I loved this edging, I just used some painter's tape, taped this off and painted the center a solid white. So I am probably going to use our wreath stencil set and I'm just going to make this a very beautiful farmhouse sign with family in the center, and then this wreath, whoops, this wreath going around in a circle. So once you start looking at things with the eyes of repurposing, the world is open to so many things. Um, I think these other paints will be talked about later. We did see the gel art ink with the tea towels. So I'm excited to try that. And then there's also the ceramic paint that could be used on um, mugs, plates, you know, anything like that. And there are instructions to make it permanent by putting it in the oven. Okay, let's get back to our mug. Kinda nervous because I'm not sure about the magic that makes this work. I do have some water and a paper towel I'm gonna set my stencil down on. Okay. Here, let me turn it this way so you guys can see. Oh, it's, I think where I had to bend. Oh, actually. Hey, that is amazing. Okay, guys, I'm excited. Now, what I saw them do on the YouTube video is you have to take like a wet rag. So I have that here. Squeezing it out and then you wipe away. <gasps> oh, you guys, that was so easy. How beautiful is that? Can you see? I know it's hard because it's glass. Maybe if I stick, nope, that doesn't help. My hand, I don't know. But when you wipe away that excess and it just has that slight, oh, that is so pretty. I really want you guys to see this. Um, I don't know what I can stick in here that's, nope. Well, you'll just have to trust me if you can't see it because of the lighting. Yes, and they will go whiter after they're dry. So that 
is my little Facebook Live for you. Again, I am brand new today to a maker's studio, so if I can do it, just pull these out of the package and use them, you guys can do it too. We'd love to know in the comments if any of you have any questions. Um, I probably can't answer them, but I know Marty's on, maybe um, maybe Amy's on, I'm not sure. Those are the only two names I know right now. But um, I hope you guys have gotten some great ideas so far today. There we go. You can see it a little better when I clean it up. Um, I'm excited. I think I'm going to make these for my coworkers for Christmas. Maybe put some coffee uh, flavored candies in there and um, wrap that up really cute and a dollar at Dollar Tree and they have all sorts of different types so um, have fun with it you guys I hope uh, to see you all again on another Makerthon and thanks so much for watching so I hope you guys enjoyed that video seeing a couple of those projects if you would like more information about a Maker Studio, you can find that link in the description box. And leave me a comment and let me know which of these projects you enjoyed, or maybe which one, what type of project you'd like to see me do with these stencils in the future. Thanks so much, and I hope everybody will give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me to grow my channel. Take care.